and welcome to another Vlogmas video from me, Lauren, from Lauren and the Books. And welcome to Vlogmas Day. I don't know what day this is going up, but it's still Vlogmas. Um, today is a video um, which I've done before. So this is a video where um, I have taken some books um, that I've read and won't reread, or um, books, I think they're all books that I've read and won't reread. Um, and I've got a lot of books on my shelves and I need to get rid of some. So I thought this, I've done this before, whereby I've got the books, popped a little note on the front of them, and then taken them down to the beach where I live locally. Um, and uh, just pop them on the beach with a little note on the front and uh, see if people pick them up. Now, I did this before with 10 books in the summer um, and all of them went. And we were delighted, weren't we, David? Mm. We never, I never thought all of them would go. It was very, very exciting. So I've got, again, 10 books from my shelves, um, which I have read and won't reread. Um, and I'm going to take them down the beach. Now, the thing is about winter versions of this. Now, we're very fortunate. I've, I've decided to film this on this day because it is so sunny and lovely. So it does mean that a lot of people will be down the beach walking dogs with kids, etc, etc. But in the summer, we had quite a big window of leaving the book. So I always go back to check that they've all been picked up because I don't want to leave um, litter out. and I don't want them to be destroyed or anything like that. Um, so last time i think we left them out for about six hours is that right david yeah, I'd say this so. time we're probably going to be leaving them out for about two hours what time is it now 11. 20 past 11. 20 past 11 so by the time we've got down to the beach it'll be about 12. um so and then we're going to go and do a uh, big shop and go to the tip to drop off our recycling and go to the storage um and then i reckon that's going to be what do you reckon david tops two two and a half hours yeah so, so I'm still I've still I'm still planning on there being some books left over. I did think there was going to be books last time and then there wasn't. Um but yeah, I still think there probably I think there's going to be some books. But anyway, let me show you the 10 books that I'm putting um down there. All of them I've um, done a little note uh, which I'm going to pop on the front and it just says Merry Christmas. I hope this book finds you feeling Christmassy. Please take it home to read or give to someone who you think might enjoy it. Then I've done like a little um synopsis of what the book's about and then I put do please let me know how you get on Instagram, put my Instagram handle and um, I put my YouTube channel as well. So um, the first one is Blood Orange. Um, this is a, um, a thriller um, that I read earlier this year and I enjoyed the thriller that I read earlier this year. It follows Alison who's got a sort of um, uh, a seemingly a perfect life um, whereby she's got the husband, the kid, the... Um, the perfect job but she's having an affair with a man who does not treat her very well at all um, and I enjoyed it and but I just wouldn't read it again so that's why that one's there then I've got Kate Hamer Crushed um, this is a thriller um, I've, I've read Girl in the Red Coat by Kate Hamer before and really really enjoyed it but just didn't get into Crushed um, so and I've tried reading it on a couple of times so that is um, that's going down there then I've got a book that I really really enjoyed but I feel like is a good gift to give someone because um, I feel like I learnt a lot from it and um, I followed it up with the podcast of this and I think if I was to revisit this book I would revisit it via audiobook um, and that's How to Fail by Elizabeth Day so this is a sort of I guess you'd put it in the self-help like part of um, books but the genre is what the word I'm looking for um, but it celebrates um, like your failures and what you can learn from your mistakes and she speaks to various sort of celebrities and, and high achievers about their failures in the past and I really enjoyed it and I, I got a lot from it, I gave it four stars um, and then I've since listened to the podcast, subscribed to the podcast and as I said if I revisit this I'll go via um, audiobook which I think I will revisit it in the new year so that one's going as well. Then I've got a uh, Re-Jane which is a retelling of Jane Eyre, this is told in... Um, uh, in modern day New York um, and the Jane in this is half Korean half American um, and she works in her uncle's um she works in her uncle's grocery store and she wants to escape from that and she ends up becoming an au pair for um, the Mays of Farley's um, who are two professors and then after there's a family death she goes back to Korea and um, has to reset. So it's, it's, it, it's a retelling of Jane Eyre but I really enjoyed it but again just wouldn't revisit it so that one's going down there again. And then the next one is With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. Now this is an absolutely perfect edition of this because I bought this because I loved uh, the Poet X so much and then I got sent the proof of it. So this is the brand new look how lovely it is look at the under oh god um the, <laughs> this uh the uh under the dust jacket is gorgeous um brand new so hopefully someone will um get a lovely gift out of that or uh, be very excited to find that and i feel like that's a good one for teenagers etc oh sorry follows Imoni, who is um a, uh, she wants to become a cook um, and she's sort of trying to negotiate that and learn all about that while still having to look after her daughter at home and um, her, her grandmother who's currently like sort of the head of the household is getting older and older um, and yeah very I feel like that will be very much enjoyed by YA lovers. Uh, the next one is a, a recent Patreon book club read and um, which is To the Bright Edge of the World by Erwin Ivy where you follow um, 
Lieutenant Colonel Alan Forrester, who is navigating the Wolverine River in Alaska and mapping it out. Um, and you're following his account of him being there and also um, his wife Sophie's account while she's at home, newly pregnant. Uh, and it's told through sort of journal entries, letters, uh, it's got some drawings and things in there and uh, very wintry. Um, so that'll be a good one. Then I've got Adele, which is a book that I did not enjoy, but this is such a nice copy and like it's barely even been touched. I feel like someone would enjoy receiving this. Um, this is translated from the French by Leila Slimani. I gave this one star um, and you follow Adele who again in, in a similar way to Blood Orange has seemingly has the perfect life. Um, she's got uh, she's got a husband, she's got a daughter, but she's got a dark dark obsession with shagging and it just takes her in, it puts herself in so much danger and yeah I just I, I didn't I did not enjoy that at all so I gave that one star then very current book Greta Thunberg's no one is too small to make a difference um this is a tiny little uh, penguin book about Greta's uh, of Greta's um essays about climate change um again super important could be a brand new gift very exciting uh, then on a girl which is a book that i've read many times and always enjoyed um but it's just sort of sitting on my shelves now it's a graphic novel about maggie uh, it's, a, it's a graphic memoir in fact about maggie um and her time at summer camp discovering um who she is and uh, it's got lgbtq plus themes in it and really nice drawings um so yeah I uh, feel like that will be enjoyed. And then the last one is um, The Butcher's Hook by Janet Ellis, which is another one of these lovely, um, lovely, lovely front covers. Uh, this is a historical fiction book set in um, 1763, the summer of 1763, where Anne Jacob, um, who comes from quite high, uh, she's got quite well-to-do parents, finds herself um, falling in love or... Um, in a sort of relationship with the butcher's boy, Fub, um, and uh, her parents have other designs for her. So, those are the 10 books that I will now be taking down to the beach. I've just got to um, washi tape the little notes on the front of them all, um, and then we're gonna head on down there, so come join us. The story does not end happily. Um, literally seconds after I um, <laughs> after I put the last book down, I put the Greta Thunberg book down. Um, the, the heavens just opened, which is almost unbelievable because you saw how bright it was in those clips. Um, so straight away, because I didn't want wet books for anyone, let alone the, the wet books nobody wants. Um, I I ran down and uh, and collected what I could. Um, I collected back seven, so in that short space of time, and literally, we must have been down the beach probably about 20 minutes, three had gone. So the Elizabeth Day book went, the How to Fail, um, Bright Side, uh, to, the, to the Bright Edge of the World, the Eowyn Ivy book went, and Crushed by Kate Hamer went as well. So even within that short space of time, they'd all gone. But I picked up the rest of them, which were very, very soggy, and I've actually just had them on the radio to try and to dry out. You can see all of the notes, all the inks run, and they've got very wet. Um, so yeah, so very sad. Even sadder, because it was hailing, and I was just like moping myself around. Some of them are completely unrescuable, like Honor Girl, look at the state of that now. Like that's, It's like it's been dropped in the bath or something. And because it had opened up, a lot of the pages had like bent back on themselves as well, um, which is an awful, awful shame. Um, so, so that's unrescuable. However, these these ones are still in pretty good nick pretty pretty good nick so um some of them have got to, like butcher's hooks a little bit damp at the top uh, with the fire on high still a bit damp on top um and but the other two are okay so 
what is a bad day for some people who didn't get a book is a good day for you guys. So what I did before was I, um, I said to people before when I got rid of books, um, if people wanted to pay for the postage wherever you may be in the world, um, I can send you one of these books. So if you want a slightly water damaged book um, and you're happy to pay for the postage to wherever you may be in the world um, then just drop me an email um, lauren and the books at gmail.com and I will certainly post those out to you I can't guarantee they're going to be there before Christmas because this video is going up on Monday I think um, which is a, a week before Christmas but if I can if, if everyone gets back to me quickly so so just to sort of reiterate we've got Blood Orange um, by Harriet Tice I'll leave the notes on there as a sort of uh, memory uh, Re Jane by um, I think it's Joanna Pack, Patricia Park, uh, With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo, The Butcher's Hook by Janet Ellis, um, No One Is Too Small To Make A Difference by Greta Thunberg, and Adele by Leila Soleimani. And obviously, if anyone wants on a girl then you're welcome to it but I will say this is the worst damaged out of the lot um, and not only are some of the pages like m I would say a good half of the book's pages are wet um, but also they've got like grit and gravel and stuff on them as well but I mean if you want it you want it so um, if you're happy to pay for the um, for the postage of those books just get in touch Lauren and the books at gmail.com and that's it so I think what I've learned here is that this is only to be done because it was bright blue skies and it just come out of nowhere. So what David said to me and what we've learned from here is that we should only really do this during the summer. So that is what we will do from now on. Um, and thank you for watching this, even though it didn't work out quite as well as I'd hoped it would. And I'll see you all again tomorrow for another Brickshire video. Goodbye. Vlogmas video. Vlogmas. Happy Vlogmas.